Thank you for joining us. This video is going to show how to create your bill of materials. In my schematic, I'm going to right click and choose selection filter. I'm going to set the filter to only parts. Highlight the schematic. Only the parts will be selected. Right click and edit properties. To add a field, click the new property button. Add a name and click OK. I have already added manufacturer, manufacturer part number, part number, and vendor. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have filled in the majority of the fields. Fill in the required fields for your bill of materials. Use Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V to copy and paste quickly in the Properties window. I'm going to add DigiKey as the vendor. Close the property windows when finished. In the project directory, select Tools and Bill of Materials. Make sure the design file is selected. The standard BOM contains item, quantity, part reference, and part value columns. Use the header and combine property text boxes to customize the Bill of Materials. I'm going to add the properties I just created. Make sure the text precisely matches the properties added, including spaces and case. Select Open in Excel to open the Bill of Materials automatically. Click OK to generate the Bill of Materials. An Excel file is opened with all the information specified. You can also view the Bill of Materials in the Project Directory outputs. Join us in the next video where we will create a smart PDF of the schematic.